really hot in Portland. And on days like this, one needs to just go outside. So I'm gonna get on my bike and I'm gonna go. Uh, I have some errands to run and I figured I would just go to where the errands are and then I will Google the omnipotent all-seeing oracle of places and locations and reviews. I will ask it what is near there that contain the word beer or brewery. Let's go. Oh, ah. Alright, closest thing that I could find was a uh, culmination brewing. Uh, so I've just posted up next to this uh, bin of uh, spent grain and um, I'm gonna find a place to park my bicycle. That's a little better, don't we think? Maybe blown out? I don't know. Voila. Uh, so I'm here at Culmination Brewing, and uh, this little echoey spot in the back here is actually air conditioned. What? They have a giant swamp cooler out front that I walked into. Uh, Doug, the gentleman behind the bar, so knowledgeable, so awesome, walked me through all the beers. I often walk into a place and I ask things like, so what are you guys known for? And he was like, meh, we don't really have a thing we're known for, and we do everything really well. Um, but their main staple really is their Phaedrus IPA, which I have right here. And then uh, the other one that's popular for them is this one. It's like their sour of some kind. He said it's like their money maker, clearly, because it's summer. Who doesn't want something like whatever that is? <sighs> but then they had all these interesting things in there. Like this is a, a cryo Phaedrus IPA. So they're basically taking hops, uh, freezing, uh, freeze drying them, put them under a microscope, finding where the lupulin is, you know, the usable parts, and then removing all the roughage of the plant. Kind of like what you would do with like hash when you're dealing with marijuana. And then you, ostensibly you're supposed to take that like a little amount. Uh, when you're brewing, you would have like three pounds of hops and instead of adding three pounds, you'd add like, I don't know, five ounces of this powder and that's what should be good. But apparently their hazy that they did here, which does have oats in it, they added just a whole bunch of those cryo hops. So we're gonna go that way. This one is the next interesting one. There were so many, I wanted to try all of them. They had 20 things on tap and I want one of each. So I wish someone was here, uh, but I couldn't call in any friends to help me yet. I might have to come back or I'll just sit here and get drunk. Uh, this one is a breakfast pail. So it's got a little bit of uh, Kova coffee in there and some beautiful local chocolate as well, but it's a pail. So it's a nice pale malt bill. And then they've just added some of those breakfast elements in there so you can actually taste them instead of, you know, being overpowered by a stout when it has a lot of that uh, roasted malt character. Things like coffee and chocolate can kind of meld together, which is, you know, a beautiful point, but at the same time, maybe these are gonna come through uh, more firmly in the flavor profile, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, the other one that I got here is a uh, Rausch Helles, which is really interesting. Oh, thanks. Oh, thank you so much. You totally read my mind. Oh my god. It absolutely makes sense. Uh, this here is bacon. Yeah. Oh, I know, wrapped in candy. Wow. Um, we got a little weird stuff. We're definitely gonna start with their phaedrus, though. Perfect. I think you have saying mosaic, citra, and something else. Uh, there are some people that find mosaic pops to have a little bit of like a cat pee element to it. That might come through for you if that's one of your like little weird ticks, but I think that all of these blend together really well. This is highly quaffable. It's not as uh, West Coast bitter IPA as one might expect from a place like a Portland brewery. This is the cryo deal. Also, a very light touch. Uh, Im impressively delicate for all of the hop chat uh, Doug behind the bar was giving me, but um, I like it. Uh, you can definitely get the softness on your palate from that uh, added amount of oats, the haziness. It's kind of softer. It does almost numb my mouth a little bit, though. Not in, in any way bad. This is very delicious. There's not a lot of crazy flavors that I'm pulling out of it, though. This is definitely a hazy IPA for people who are not super into the fruity aspects of hazy. There's not a lot of juice character in there, which is great. Uh, that's my personal preference. I walked in and, and Homeboy and I had a whole conversation about brewed IPAs, which are the fashion. We'll talk about that soon, first of all.
It's ours. Yeah, that's fine. It's like a rosé wine cooler kind of deal with some effervescence. Little bubbly Zinfando. I could see people like that for the summer. And again, it's, it's a crowd pleaser deal. Uh, here is that breakfast chocolate coffee pail. Ooh. Definitely smells like a nice little filter coffee. Oh wow, it's beautiful. I'm gonna eat some of the bacon with this because <laughs> that's probably what you're supposed to do. Oh, oh my god. This is morning beer. It's very drinkable. You get just a little hint of uh, a light coffee roast at the very beginning and don't think like espresso or dark or chocolate or any of that kind of stuff. It's definitely more light, um, like an Ethiopian or a nat uh, natural wash kind of a, a coffee. It's, it's very bright still and then you just finish with a little little ping of, um, of uh, milk chocolate. And the chocolate definitely comes through a little bit more towards the end. Um, it has a nice little warming quality, all of it together, just around it. It's, it's great. Um, Hellas, a Hellas that has been a little bit of smoke malt. It doesn't smell, it just smells like a Hellas. Fresh dough, bread, that whole deal. Hmm. The, the smoky part doesn't really come through uh, very much at all, which is great. I think really that's the attempt, you know? People are often really off-put by the smoky thing. It's really mild. It's, it's almost like if you've ever had scotch and you, you put like one ice cube in there and one of those big ones and you let it just kind of soak down and you know the bottom of the glass scotch. Altogether really beautiful, a really light touch. I would say the brewer has a really good sense of balance. And um, even these like extreme things over here still have a really good, again, balance, which is what I'm personally looking for when I, when I come for different breweries. I like ask for the most balanced beers. I, I like a range of beers. I like all beers. I just like beers that have a good balance. And even the ones that are extreme, then they're extreme for a, a reason. That's the point. Uh, and I, I appreciate intention, but this just seems like a lot of really easy drinking, crowd pleasing, but still experimental, which I think is beautiful. That's definitely uh, a hallmark of Portland style brewing. Uh, culmination so far, knocking it out of the park.